don't know if she's part of it, but um, yeah. So uh, so that's yeah. Which I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, um, well, to tell you the truth, your Hulu numbers are through the roof from from what oh, I've researched, and oh, yeah. um, that's a co- cool thing too. Yeah. Um, you know, as, as much as the ratings are important, which I think you guys are getting stellar ratings, by the way, but the Hulu numbers are just, it's your, your, your show, I don't know if you know this, but your show is number one on Hulu. Oh, it's that's the fantastic. number one watched show. So, yeah. um, I, you know, I'm assuming that the, the network's w- looking at that and those numbers and saying that that's definitely cool. I mean, to have it on Friday, that might's one thing, but maybe if they right. move it to another night, you might, your ratings number might go up or whatever. But yeah, um, yeah, for the past couple of weeks, it's been the number one Hulu show. Awesome. So, um, and I think we're big on iTunes for a while, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I haven't checked the iTunes numbers, but that could be the case, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, that just goes to show, you know, there was a lot of worry before before this series came out about what was going to happen because of what was going on behind the scenes. Was there was was it just that the network took over the the show for the first couple episodes just so they can make sure it's good, and then they had Josh take the reins? Was that the situation? You know, to be completely honest, I don't know all the stuff that goes on way behind the scenes. You know, on that level, I'm just, you know, the actress that shows up and <laughs> has fun doing yeah. her job. So, um, no, and, and I kind of came in a little bit later. And, no, I mean, to me, everything seemed fine. And, yeah, obviously the first few episodes were um, were kind of more network-driven. And, and Man on the Street is the one that Joss really, you know, prides himself on. I, you know, he's been quoted as saying that, too. And I think it's it's true. From that episode to the end, it's it's really – kind of what we all envision the show to be and I think with any any series you know when you're brand new there's a lot of learning that goes on about what we want the show to be and the style and the pacing and you know there's a lot going into it um but I'm really proud of it and and I think uh the rest of the season will just continue to impress everybody and excite everyone and there's a lot of cool twists and a lot of great backstory and and just a lot it's it's a lot of fun yeah, I mean, I mean that Man on the Street episode slowly started. That momentum started to really start to pick up after that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, we got, we got, we got the Melody deal, and then we got this last episode, which I, I thought was, I think, one, one of the best of the season so far. Um, you know, it really got broke down what the characters were and all that. I was just absolutely great. And by the way, I love that you kicked some ass at least one at one point during the, <laughs> during the show. Thanks. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot. Oh of yeah. Fun. Yeah, that yeah, was that absolutely. was cool when when you said three powers in a vase, and then you just <laughs> turn and you start kicking ass. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Any yeah, moment you never now. know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, I mean it's it's a you know it's a very interesting character you know and, and especially for your, one of your first roles is to have this kind of character where you know that um, that um, you know one of these one of these characters that uh, changes. Um, right. as, as the as the uh, as the show goes on, so it's kind of awesome as well. Um, I was going to say, um, oh, I was going to mention uh, because because you you are happy enough to send me a couple of your uh, a couple of your tracks. Uh, you actually have a ukulele band. Yes, a uh, ukulele cover band called Uke Box Heroes. Um, it's my fiance Christopher May and I, and um, I grew up as a Polynesian dancer. Actually, since I was a little girl, I've been uh, in the Hawaiian community and dancing and. A few years ago, my mom and two sisters and another friend of ours uh, decided to put together an all-female Hawaiian group. My mom plays upright bass and sings. My sisters play uke and sing. And the other woman played guitar. And I've always just been the dancer, you know, never really fancied myself a musician. I played piano as a kid a little bit. Um, and then um, one day they just said, come on, Miracle, try it. You'll love it. And I said, no, no, no. And so I picked it up, and my sister taught me a really simple, beautiful song, and I fell in love. The ukulele, if you guys don't have one, get one and learn how to play because it just makes you happy. Uh, you know, it's it's much simpler than you would think. It's a lot of fun, and uh, it just brought me so much joy. And um, so I got an early birthday present, and I brought it home, and my uh, my boyfriend at the time picked it up, and he was a natural, and so we got him one, and then, you know, Youth Box Heroes was born, and we just kind of have been slowly learning. You know, we learned a lot of Hawaiian songs in the beginning because that's kind of where it all came from um, and just kind of taught ourselves. And, and now we play all kinds of stuff, whatever speaks to us. And, you know, we just we put a lot of love into it. It's really just us playing because we love it and because it makes us happy, and it seems to make a lot of other people happy. And um, it's great. So we have our MySpace page, and uh, we're getting a lot of good feedback from the fans on that, which is really, really exciting. And uh, we're working on a couple songs to put up in the next week or so. Um, so we'll have some new stuff up there. 
And uh, it's just, uh, it's really, really great stuff. I heard you played uh, Tin Man. Did you play that earlier in the break? Yes, I did. Awesome. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everybody yeah. thought it was pretty good. What was, what's, what's, the, uh, what's the MySpace page for your band? Um, you know, just www.myspace.com backslash uke box heroes. U-K-E-B-O-X-H-E-R-O-E-S. Okay. You can well, check it out. In the chat room. There we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's very, it's it, you know, it's very interesting. Yeah, I paid ten minutes earlier. I, I got, you got two tracks from me. Ten Man was one of them. I take a look at what the other one is. Mm-hmm. Um, um, the other one was. Um, let's see here. You belong to me was the other you, one. Yeah, yeah. That's a very sweet yeah. one. Yeah, that's the first one we it. learned together. Oh, awesome, awesome. So, I mean, do, do, do you, how, how often do you play gigs? Um, every once in a while, you know, we're still, uh, we're more in the, um, kind of refining the show and working on recording some stuff and, and we're still kind of feeling it out. I mean, we, uh, we played at a couple of friends' weddings and a friend's party and stuff like that. And, you know, it's really great. We play everything from Van Morrison to the Eurythmics, Hollow Notes, Carpenters, all kinds of stuff. So it's really just, um, fleshing that out and working on, um, recording some stuff and getting it up on our MySpace page for now. Um, but we will definitely keep you guys posted and put that on there whenever we have uh, some gigs out in Los Angeles or anywhere else. We'll, we'll definitely let you know. Yeah, that would be interesting. All my notes on the ukulele. you got to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you'd be surprised. You know, we, we kind of hear something on the radio or a song, you know, comes across our head, and, and we just try it out. And sometimes it doesn't work, and a lot of times it really, really does. And you'd be surprised it sounds pretty awesome on the ukulele. And it's fun, you know, to work on our arrangements and harmonies together and kind of make it our own thing. And it's just, it's just fun. It's great. Yeah, I mean, I mean, oh, um, somebody in the, in, in the chat room is mentioning a ukulele playing butt kicking, mind wiped, living doll. Who looks better than that? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Maybe, and maybe Josh. To... Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was going to say that maybe Josh will write something where you have to play the ukulele, you know. During oh, you don't even know. Exactly. Throw a grass skirt on, grab my ukulele, and go on an engagement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. But it, it, it's a lot, it must be a lot of fun doing the show, though. It's It's got to be, you know, you know, somewhat fun to be able to, um, you know, do all these all these stunts and be able to, uh, you know, be, be able to play this character or, you know, have have a chance to kind of just play different characters at all. Is it a lot of fun for you? Oh, it's it's more than a dream come true. You know, I when I found out I got November, I just couldn't even believe it. And then when I saw the whole Melly direction it was going, you know, because obviously I don't have as many different engagements and different characters as like Enver and Beach and Eliza do throughout this season. But getting to have an actual character arc with Melly turned out to be a blast. And we got to do a lot of fun stuff with her. And I got to work with Tomo a lot. And that was great. And, um, I just really fell in love with Melly, and it was really great to to explore her the whole season. And um, November's pretty cool too. And and um, I like the facet in the house. I like all the dolls' relationship with each other. And I, I can't wait to see what else I get to do with her um, later. But it, it's really been a dream come true. You know, the the cast and crew are just such tremendous people, and uh, they're just all lovely and insanely talented and really great and kind and smart and. Um, I just I couldn't have asked for a better first experience and and it's just been it's been awesome it's been incredible. Yeah, it's it's you know it, it's 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 incredible especially and again especially because this is your first the first ever time you you roll or anything like that. Um, I mean, are, are you going to be doing any movies anytime soon? Are you during the break or are you uh, going? To... I hope so. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're always actors are always looking for the next gig and seeing what's on the horizon and. Um, so, yeah, we're just kind of feeling things out for now and, and just waiting to see what happens with the show and, and see what other projects are out there. And it's um, been really fun to focus on Youth Box Heroes with Chris and uh, and explore that side of things. So it's it's really good. It's really good. And I'm enjoying watching the show. It's a fun show. <laughs> so so that's good. So we'll just see. But, um, you know, obviously if anything comes up, I'll keep everyone posted on uh, either a MySpace page or my website and Facebook, all those things, all those things. It's really fun to be able to um, be in contact with some of the fans, too. Like I said, they've said really great things about the show and, and the work we're doing, and, and it means a lot. It means a lot to be able to have that kind of access right away and see how, how everyone likes you and, and how it's all going. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fans of yours in the chat room right now, and there's a lot of fans <laughs> of yours on Facebook and all that, too. So, 
I mean, we're all rooting for you. Basically, we. I think I think you're one of my favorite characters on the show. I mean, it's oh, it's, it's really you. nice. Yeah, it's really nice to see such a great character on it. That's why I wanted you on the show. You know, it's like you know I have to get her on the show. She has she's one of the best characters on there, and her, the reaction from everybody seems to be very very positive towards your character. So. Um, that that should be that should be more than enough to make you very very happy and oh, um, yeah, the world yeah yeah we're and 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 to tell you the truth I'm, I mean I'm, I can't wait for them to say yes we're going to have another season but I think they're going to I think to say that you have the number one show on Hulu and the number one show on iTunes then you know right. uh, maybe they'll That'd change your night you know <laughs> yeah, exactly right. you guys are doing something right you know right right and uh, Josh's fans are very very positive I mean there was worry at the first the first couple episodes that it wasn't going to be that good and then. Uh, you know, it started kicking the gear, and we saw all this stuff, and it's really, really cool, and all that too. So, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome, and I cannot wait for them to announce. Yes, they'll be in the second season, and we'll see what happens with Melly then or November then. Um, I love your yeah. attitude. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all, we're all pulling for you, and we're all pulling for the show to get another season, which I think it will. So great. great. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of support. So we'll, we'll make sure that second season happens. So. Um, <laughs> Well, Alexis, first of all, thank you for being on the show. Oh, it's my pleasure. Yeah. Um, first of all, I wanted to ask you about uh, about your daughter. How is she doing? Oh, she is, uh, well, she's the apple of my eye. I'm afraid I've, I've fallen, as I think all fathers do. It's, uh, it's really wonderful. She's, uh, she's a kick, and we're having a, we're having a blast as, uh, as first-time parents. Well, I, I think so, too. And um, I'm pretty sure Allison is very, very psyched and all that, too. And it's kind of interesting she's also working now as well. Are you getting more time with her? Yeah, definitely. I'm the, the Manny Daddy. Um, <laughs> we've got a, we've got a, a great setup uh, where um, several days a week I go in and Sati goes in and Ali, we all go in together, and uh, we have a little room that's kind of set up as a nursery at, uh, at Fox. And so Allie can come off set at every opportunity and spend a little time with the baby and, and breastfeed and, you know, get to still keep her, her mothering going uh, during, the, during the work hours. And um, the only time it got a little complicated was when I was shooting uh, Dollhouse because there were times when we were both needed on set. So we, we had a little help covering that. But, but otherwise, I'm, I, I'm really trying to give myself up to this first, these first precious you know, months and uh, of of her life, and and get a get a great bond going with her. I've talked to some dads who who said that there was nothing like that first year, and uh, and the ones who really who really kind of dialed down the other areas of their life so they could spend more time with the baby really felt like it had paid off over the course of their relationship. So uh, so that's what, that's what I'm trying to do. Well, that's great. I mean, it's it's kind of interesting the way that you guys have it set up and all that too, and. Um, you actually got to work with uh, with your, your wife Allison on uh, don't in um, uh, uh, how I met your mother. <laughs> yeah, I and did. Was, yeah, I was, was in uh, season I think season one. Now it's a while ago, but uh, yeah, they, and they every so often the producers will will uh, or writers will uh, say, oh, we've got a great storyline for your character, but uh, they haven't haven't figured out exactly when to bring him back. But they they've been threatening it. And it was a while since since you um, since you last when when you worked with your wife before you went on How I Met Your Mother because you were you were with her on Angel for maybe a couple scenes and uh, Buffy for a couple scenes. So was it kind of like you know, working going coming back to work with her? Oh, it was fantastic. Although we didn't we only had I think one one scene together, but uh, it's actually dangerous putting us in scenes together because we tend to make each other laugh. And uh, <laughs> I mean. That's- so th- <laughs> <laughs> it slows everybody down because we're giggling. I was thinking that too. Is, is that Allison must be a hoot to be able to have as a wife because you know she's always going to be able to say something funny that makes. Yeah, laugh. she is. She is. She's. Uh, I'm a very lucky man. No question. Uh, I have to agree. I'm a huge fan of Allison, and of course a huge fan of Dollhouse and, and the Weed. Oh well, you have great taste. Too. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but anyway, um, one, one I mentioned, um, actually, um, they've been replaying a lot of the Angel episodes really early in the morning on TNT, by the way. So I've been catching back up with it because I, I watched it for so many years. And I wanted to ask you about the story arc because your character evolved so much during that show. And can you tell us a little bit about playing, 
playing uh, playing your character on Angel? Oh, I'd be delighted to tell you. I mean, it was uh, kind of a work in progress because uh, when the character was first created, uh, it was season three of Buffy, and uh, Joss really 